How do you do? Let me go free. Welcome back to Blood Will Tell, episode 7. Last episode, we started chapter 2, met the smashed daughter samurai, Dororo got possessed, and we met a woman. As well, as we got ourselves a new scroll. Thunderstrike. It's a strong move, but again, I kind of don't like it. So let's use it on some demons over here. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty strong, but again, I'm not the biggest fan of using any other spirit attacks other than the one you start with. There are some others that are pretty powerful. You see, it took out the second level demon, the second level specter, in one blow. Uh, try this again. I want to try to get a higher level sword. Oh come on! I press square. Sometimes I think I pressed it too quick that the game doesn't register what I'm pressing. Don't kill this one, Dodoro. Oh, literally as I press triangle. I want to try to get a better sword. My swords are all crap, minus my arm swords. Hey, don't ever stay busy over there. I'll just go for 20 slices then. Nope. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I think I'm going to hold off doing that because, believe it or not, in this chapter, we're going to find a way to boost up our luck. Let's just get out of here. Ow, I forgot though that was still there. Okay then, let's head off through here. A fiend. Eight Fiend, Giant Fire Wheel, level 10. Its weakness is its head. Attack it on the sides. Whenever you attack its weak point just once, he just tends to roll out of place. It's a very easy fiend to get the hang of. You just gotta watch out for its, uh, its unpredictable attacks, like when he... The Pokemon turns f flame wheels you, and in other turns when he uses fire tornado. But it's over. Gain a body part, the kidneys. Attack power plus two, max HP, and stability plus 12. Very nice. That should improve our chances to get the 24 slashes. I hope. <laughs> okay then. We're gonna head this way for another cutscene. this morning, praying you'd come home soon. My prayers were answered. I've been back for almost half a year now. Huh? I, I thought you went to guard the castle. Yes, I did. And His Majesty personally awarded me with an incredible sword. But I used it to kill hundreds of castle workers. It was all to defend the castle secrets. That... your lord ordered you to do it, right? Yes, but since then, it's felt like the sword has been wielding me instead. 
The sword constantly craved blood. I became its slave. I couldn't return to your side, so I stayed near the village, wandering. Look what I've become. But it's all that sword's fault. We need to take it to the shrine. I'm sorry, Misaki. Dragon Brood craves blood again. Misaki! Hmm? Hey! <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Damn. Not now. Dragon Brood needs more power. Please, help my brother. That sword grows stronger as it drinks more blood. Then... we have to stop him! Yeah, he's getting stronger by the minute. Then stop staring and actually go after the murderer. Okay. I may have been killing demons before, but this time I'm actually going to ignore them. By the way, whenever you're running, if you press square, you'll do this. Press triangle, you do this. They're both pretty useful. This is good at giving you like an extra boost right near the end of your run. Now, I'm not going to follow Tanasuke right away. Believe it or not, we're going to do something I was thinking about doing uh, uh, in the last episode, but I think I'm going to do it now instead. We're going to jump that back down here, and we're going to roam in this direction back to the area where we first fought Tanasuke. Word of warning. You might want to save here because this is a. Str We're about to fight a fiend. I might as well just say it. And it's actually a pretty strong fiend at this point. It's the strongest thing you'll have fought up to this point. So, uh, and if you die, you gotta go back to your last save point. So I recommend you save before you fight this fiend. In order to reveal the fiend, break the rock. Say hello to the seventh fiend, Impaler, level nine. This is a very strong fiend and also very annoying to fight. Weakness is head. He has a lot of opportunities of becoming invulnerable to your attacks. Do what you can to try to dish out damage and avoid damage as best you can. Trust me. Oh, I thought he was about to do his, uh, what, his swing. Oh, still not. Looks like the extra grinding I did on those demons, oh, on those demons actually came in handy. So I'm doing better than I did before. Oh, that's where his one point of invincibility. Oh, he stabbed. You're breathing like you're wearing a mask. Well, that did pretty much nothing. And yes, doing this attack is honestly one of the best ways to fight fiends in my opinion. This fight is pretty much done. Okay. Screw doing ground combos then. I'm just gonna do this. You go invincible around the time I was about to finish you off. Tip a call. Yeah. We have gained the a chakra. Uh, Manipura, I think it's called. Enhance the attack power by 1, max HP by 35, and luck by 9. The third chakra, located in the solar plexus. Boost luck and max HP. 
There's a total of seven chakras, and each one of them boosts your luck. So they're worth getting. So I actually do recommend getting this one during this time. So if you're interested in doing the sword technique, you'll get a better chance of getting better drops. There's something else as well that can boost your luck that we haven't gone back to get yet in chapter one. Believe it or not, I'm going to show that before we end off this episode. But how about we go and actually finish this chapter? Yep. I told you this chapter was super short. We're already on our way to the final boss. Tanosuke. Not gonna bother with these demons because they're just in the way. If you need health, destroy that rock there. It's a full heal. Katane. We have found you, Tenosuke. Or should I say Dragon Brood? Wait! Please, don't kill him! Misaki. Your brother is a good swordsman, and his sword is extremely powerful. He'll kill me if I don't kill him first. No! Just drop your sword, Tenosuke. I know once you had a human heart. At some point, perhaps. But Dragon Brood just keeps telling me it needs more blood. And when I satisfy it, I am overcome with such euphoria and pleasure. <laughs> Tenosuke's mind is completely lost. There's no going back. I guess he gets his kick from fiend power. Ha ha ha. Say hello to the Night Fiend. Tanosuke is possessed by Dragon Brood. He has become a fiend himself. Hyakumara must fight with all his strength and he can use all his weapons. Tanosuke, aka Dragon Brood. His weakness is still his back, but believe it or not, this fight is a little bit unique compared to other, demon, uh, other fiend fights. Stay away from him when he's on the ground because if you get close, he'll do like a, a full swing. Is that all? <laughs> Demon Saw, Dragon Brood. Yep, we'll keep switching locations. And now we're in an awkward spot because this area. That's the swing I was talking about. Slows you down. And that's a full swing. God damn you! Okay, good. Actually, got him. We should just be about to do it again. Boom. Come on! Oh, so tough. Come on! Sound like a bully. <laughs> And now he can teleport! But watch out when he jumps up as well. When he jumps up, he does a pretty annoying attack that's actually really hard to avoid. Gonna do it. Boom. Shakimaru, this way! I have to say, this is getting easier. And now this is the final fight. So don't worry guys, if this was getting annoying before, it's this is it. This is the final bit. That's why I've been saving my spirit attack. Oh, we're doing well. Okay, I keep stopping him from doing that annoying attack. Not this time. Oh, wow. That's why it's annoying. Get him out. Wow. Well, what are you gonna do, Tanasuke? Yeah. Wow, how does that keep happening? Oh well. Should be over. If only the majority of that actually hit him. Oh, the fight would be done. 
Goodbye. Don't escape. Dragon Brood. Misaki, watch out. This is my sword. You will have to pry it from my cold fingers if you want it. Give me blood. Dragon Brood needs blood. Don't worry. I will feed you soon enough. But I cannot give you his. You shall have mine! No! Drink. Drink. This is your last feast. <laughs> Die, fiend! The sword. Dragon Brood is dead. Tarasuke. Yakimaru's regain a body part, the most painful one to watch out of all of them. The spine. Okay then, next. Continuing. Ah! My back! Oh, it burns! Yaki! I'm... I'm fine. Uh, looks like I... I got my spine back. You'll be alright, Yaki! Murderer! I asked you to help him! That's not fair, Misaki! Hyaki killed that demon sword! If he didn't, it probably would have killed everyone for food! And... and Hyaki... He, he even tried to get the sword away from him! Don't escape. <sighs> You're all evil! How could you do this to my brother? Murderer! I don't ever want to see you again. Get out of here! I'm sorry things turned out this way. For you and your brother. Hyaki! Hyakimaru was unable to save the girl's brother from the clutches of the fiends. Yet he was able to regain a precious body part. Everywhere he turned, there was both happiness and sorrow. Hope and despair. He began to doubt whether or not the world could truly ever know peace. Hyakimaru clears his mind of lingering doubts and continues on. He must continue to fight. Hard life of a warrior. Now, chapter two may be done, but believe it or not, guys, we're actually not done for this episode. There are two more things I want to do since we're pretty, since we're only about almost 20 minutes in. There are two more things I want to do, and the first thing we're going to do is back inside chapter two. We're going to go and fight one more fiend that was actually not available for us to get during the main playthrough. You can only get it by returning to the chapter. So I'll see you in the location because it's in the second area where we fought Tanosuke during the final battle with the muddy area. So I'll see you right over there. Okay, you'll recognize this area is the first area where you fought Tanosuke. You can recognize it from the map, right? So you'll see these red glowing dots. They are the fiends. But that second fiend you saw further beyond, we can't get to that fiend, believe it or not. We gotta come back to this chapter at a later point. To get this fiend to appear, we gotta defeat these enemies, which they are now on screen. But the bio, the name, the drops, yada yada is all on screen. These things are super annoying. They dig in the ground so they're hard to hit. Because once you hit them, they'll probably more than likely go into the ground. And they do poison. 
and they attack in a group. So I'm just fighting normal demons and I'm almost dead. Plus this mud doesn't really help. Okay. I'm probably gonna lose my extra life here. Okay, those two are dead. I think you're the last one, or is there one more? There's one more. There it is. Ah! There we go. They're all dead. And once they're all dead... Creepy's back! Well, not quite the same fiend. Night Terror, the 13th Fiend. Nine times out of ten, we're probably going to lose that extra life in this fight because of those little demons. But, oh well, whoa. I wasn't expecting him to appear right back in front of us. Watch out for his head, but it's Zack. Yeah, if we lose our extra life, I won't mind too much. Even though I'd rather not. Ah! Watch out for his poison circle! I think I hit it! I'm doing all I can to try to kill this thing. Poison gas attack! Okay, out of bullets, but I got my spirit attack back though. Are you gonna dig? You're digging. To me? Yep, here we go. Okay, that was risky. Okay, he's almost dead. You can go on the edges here, and you got full speed. By the way, there's Dodoro's attack. Because <laughs> her health is flashing. You gotta watch out for this one as well. He does have another attack where he spins around and does a poison attack. Thunder is dead! No! Don't worry, she'll actually come back. Okay, there goes Thunder. Okay, we're just about to finish it! Oh, that was close. Hard fight. Yeah, we have regained an, uh, a body part, a cerebellum. Increases our luck as well, by the way, as well as speed and attack power. With the cerebellum, orders adjust, in, uh, orders adjust movements, control posture, and enhance agility. With more luck as well. We're awesome! Now, the uh, remaining fiend, as I said, we can't deal with it right now, so we gotta leave the chapter. I might as well explain this now. I am not going to be going back to every single chapter when beaten to go back and defeat all the feats. I just chose this fiend in particular to go back to because it enhanced the luck stats. Purely the only reason why. Because you know me, I want to do the sword technique and increased luck will help us out. But now we got one more thing I want to show off back at chapter one. I will see you guys where we found the money in the bamboo thicket. Okay then, we are back here now. Just gotta jump over this. And you'll see in the area where we dug, there is a sword. This is a very good sword in the terms for luck. An image of the god of the gods of fortune is carved into the blade. The wielder's luck is increased from 32 to 37. It only offers the luck by four points, but there are luck the same as like other swords which we have yet to get. There is luck blade, then luck blade plus one, luck blade plus two, and luck blade plus three. Those ones are a little difficult to get, but with our enhanced luck, we now have a high chance of getting some pretty decent stuff. 
In fact, I want to test it against these demons, assuming I get lucky and actually go through the whole thing. Okay then, let's... Okay, that didn't help because I could have sworn I pressed square then circle, but apparently it didn't think so. I want to have one good streak and see what I get. I know for a fact I pressed X. Twenty slices. Okay, not much luck there. Either way, I'll give it one last shot, then we'll call this episode. Oof. I got 24! Damn it, still no sword. Luck's not on my side, even with increased luck. <laughs> it's still random, but increased luck does give you a better chance of getting the swords. So, that'll do. And no, it's not when you have the sword equ equipped like that. Because, as you. Because, well. My luck stat is still boosted. I'm still at 37. So that'll do for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, I will see you back in the main menu for where we start Chapter 3. Whoa. Bye-bye.